Welcome to the spoken tutorial on adding radio buttons. In this tutorial, we will learn to add a radio group and radio buttons and run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Android Studio version 3.x and Android phone with minimum of Android OS version 4.03. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of Java programming language and Android Studio. If not, then go through relevant tutorials on this website. In this tutorial, we will add radio buttons to create male and female options. The label gender will be created using text view tool. Let us open Android Studio. We will be using the same project registration form which we used earlier. In the left panel, we can see the list of recently opened projects. Or you can click on open an existing Android Studio project and then select the registration form project from the saved location. Select the project registration form directly from here. It will take some time to load the project. Wait until it completes loading. Click on activity underscore first dot XML file. We have already created the form with few tools earlier. Now we will add some more tools. First let us remove the top constraint of the click here button and align properly. Once done, we can add the new tools. So, drag text view to show the label, gender and place it below name edit text. Click on this text view and change its text attribute to gender. Now, let us align the gender text view as shown. Next, we need to add a radio group to group the radio buttons. Why we need radio group? Radio group can hold the radio buttons. When radio buttons are placed inside a radio group, the user can only select one button at one time. We can have any number of radio groups as per the requirement. In the palette search box, type radio and find the radio group from the list. Here it is available under buttons option. The option could change in the future due to version change. Now select and drag radio group and place it below the gender text view. Note that radio group is not assigned with a default unique ID. So first we need to give a unique ID. Otherwise the tool is not able to attach to other tools via constraints. In the attributes window type gender radio group in ID field and press enter. Position it below the gender label by aligning the top and side constraints as shown. Let us now add radio button to the radio group. We will add two radio buttons for gender. Drag it to the component tree panel and release it on the gender radio group. Note that it should come under the hierarchy of gender radio group and not under constraint layout. Now drag one more radio button and release it on the first radio button in the component tree. Now select the first radio button in the component tree and change its text attribute to male. Likewise change the text attribute to female for the second radio button. We had removed the top constraint of click here button earlier. Now click on the top constraint of the button. Then drag and attach to the bottom of radio group to place it properly. Lastly, run the app by clicking on the play button and check how it looks on the phone. Next, let us see about how to declare variables in Kotlin, where x equal to 5. Here, in data type is assigned by default to a variable x. Val 
x equal to 5. The value 5 is a constant when the variable is declared using val keyword. val x colon int equal to 5. Here we are declaring a constant value 5 to the variable x of type int. Otherwise we can say val x colon int and assign the value in the next line as x equal to 5. Switch back to Android Studio interface and click on first activity.kt. Now we will write the code that will decide which radio button is selected. First we will create a new variable to store the gender information. Type this line of code below the code where name equal to empty string. In set on click listener function after the toast method write the below code. This function returns the ID of the radio button which is selected from the radio group. The ID is stored in the variable gender ID. This function returns minus 1 when no radio button is selected. The radio button value is stored in a variable selected underscore gender by the method find view by ID. Find view by ID method returns a view of which ID is passed as argument. This line extracts the text of the selected radio button and stores it in the gender variable. Now we have a new data gender which we can pass onto the second activity. Type this code below the previous put extra method in the intent method. This new data can now be accessed inside second activity.kt. Click on activity underscore second dot XML. Let us resize the text view to add the gender information. Now go to the second activity.kt file. Add a new variable, say uptime gender as shown. We need to extract the new data of gender. So we will write the code as below. This will store the gender data from first activity in uptime gender variable. Edit the code of text view to add the gender information like this. The radio button code is ready to run. Click on the play button to run the Kotlin app. Launch the app in the phone. Enter your name and select any one of the gender radio buttons. Click on the click here button. A new window opens with the output as shown. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to add radio groups and radio buttons, run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. As an assignment, do the following. Add one more radio button to the radio group and change the text attribute as others. Run the Kotlin app to check the output. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The Android app and the script for this tutorial was contributed by Abhishek Shah. And this is Nirvana Venkat along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.